Okay, we're ready to go back at JFrog Swamp Up. And our second interview today is with Scott Lynn. I'm Heather Van Cura. So, Scott, welcome Thank to you. the Swamp Up. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you got to give me the microphone. <laughs> I'm not used to sharing the microphone. I'm sorry. You don't have to just remind me if I forget. All right, so welcome, Scott. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so, um, so I'm in charge. I'm the product... Uh, Sorry, I'm the Oracle Linux Product Strategy Director at Oracle. Very cool. So, yeah, I, I'm actually, I've heard a little bit about Oracle Linux, not too much, because <laughs> I work in the Java space, but that's cool. And interesting, though, that your talk is actually on a different topic today here, which is simplifying and optimizing life on the edge with Grawl, which... I didn't know what Grawl was, but you've shared with me. It's the uh, holy grail for DevOps. Sh tell us just a little bit about you know what that means, how it came to be called that, and why. Okay. Well, I can't. Um, so Grawl is an open source project that started in Oracle Labs. So I don't know if, if our if the people out there are aware of or, that we have a labs organization that does research projects, and um, they created an open source project um, where what. Graal does is it virtualizes the language environments. So, you know, we've had uh, virtualization now for years. We've virtualized the hardware, then we virtualized the OS with containers, you get Docker, right? Now we're virtualizing the language environments, the runtime environments. And um, it's actually a polyglot virtualization technology. What that is is multi multiple languages can run inside the same, um, inside the same virtual uh, machine, okay? And um, all of the normal, uh, Infrastructure that's necessary for two languages to communicate can be ta can be removed because they sit literally in the same in the same process. Cool. Yeah. Actually, now as you're talking, I think I was doing some interviews at Orodev in Sweden in November, and I think Yaroslav was there, and I think he was talking about Grawl. You, you know Yaroslav in Prague? Uh, no, I can't say as a dude. Well, okay, okay. He works in the Oracle Labs, so actually that's really the first person I've met that works in Oracle Labs. So you mentioned, oh, Oracle Labs. I don't know if anyone knows we had a lab, and I don't think I really knew until, you know, I talked to him a couple of times last year. So he's given talks on Grawl at a couple of different conferences in Europe at Prague, and then I saw him again in Sweden. So, yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, interesting thing about Grawl, the Grawl project team, is it's actually spread out over what used to be the Holy Roman Empire. So they're all over Europe. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today is how we can simplify uh, programming, how we can simplify development, we can optimize development. Uh, you know, Twitter's using Grawl, and um, they've seen a 25% boost in the number of tweets that they can push out with the exact same environment using Grawl versus using uh, uh, the language, the default language environments like Ruby and Rails. Okay, cool. So you have most about efficiency for developers then. Efficiency and simplicity, because uh, you can actually interact, two language environments can interact directly. Um, the objects can be moved back and forth easily. And so you don't need to do things like uh, build a JSON file and then have the other environment read the JSON file or transfer it via a pipe or something. You have to encode and decode all of that. You just pass the objects back and forth. Well, it sounds like an interesting talk. Um, I see your, your talk is right after the happy hour. I mean, everything's in relation to the happy hour for me today. So what, when, when's your talk? I'm right before the happy hour. Okay, yours is right before the happy hour. Okay. I'm between everybody and their booze. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, something to do while you're waiting for your first wine. And then also, so actually, I, when I thought, when I saw your name to interview and um, I look at, and your title, I think it was, I figured we would be talking about Linux, but w w your talk today isn't actually about Linux. But in, in that vein, though, I, I should ask you, I was going to ask you, so what's cool about Oracle Linux and maybe something developers don't know about Oracle Linux, since that is what I thought I was going to talk to you about today, was Oracle Linux. I was like, cool, I've never met anyone that works on Oracle Linux before, and I, I, so I'm curious. Right. Well, so one, of the, one thing that most people don't know is that for DevOps, Oracle Linux running UEK, the Unbreakable Enterprise Kernel, so we support Docker on Oracle Linux 6, unlike our competition. That's a differentiator, and yeah, I mean, I know developers love Docker. That's the cool thing now. So, any, any other cool, cool tips? Maybe that people. What else don't people know about Oracle Linux before we just close it out and we go hear more about Grawl? Okay. Well, it's free to use. It's free to update. All of our errata are available for free, so you don't need support to use it. So you can run it in 
you're, you can run it at home on your laptop or you can run it in your production environment without having to pay any, any fees. All right, well, I've learned a lot here talking to you and even connected some dots about Grawl and the project and what's happening with it. So I, I am going to make an effort to come to your talk today and learn more about it. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for joining us. Nice to meet you too. Thank you.